Hi, welcome to today's devotional. Today's title is Live by Faith. And our verse is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. And it reads, For we live by believing and not by seeing. Now to paraphrase uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, nothing would be impossible if we have faith even as small as a mustard seed. And I just happen to have one right here in this pen. You probably can't see it because it's itty bitty, right? But it's in the center of this, this little pen that I have right here. Now small mustard seeds become trees after extended times of growth. So if we want to grow in faith, we must keep moving forward and growing in that relationship with Jesus. Um, there are a lot of people in the Bible who showed incredible faith in the Bible, we have Abraham, we have Moses, David, we have Jesus and Paul. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Noah. Um, in Hebrews uh, chapter 11, verse seven, it says, it was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God who warned him about things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. So Noah couldn't see the eventual flood, but he acted in obedience because he had faith in the Lord and believed everything he said. And as a result, he saved his family. He, he became an heir of righteousness and God promised to never flood the earth again. Now that enormous ark, we know it was a, a big ark. That enormous ark he built was 450 feet long which is 90 feet longer than a football field, right? 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Now, it would have been easy for Noah to be overwhelmed with what God asked him to do, but his trust in God equipped him to act on his faith. And the entire earth has benefited because of his obedience. Living by faith means that we're trusting God's promises and that he has a good plan even when things don't seem to be going right or they don't make sense to us. Our faith, even if it's as small as a mustard seed, will grow when we continually choose to obey God. Actions increase our faith. Act the actions like prayer, like reading our word, serving others, and leading people to Jesus. Faith is a powerful thing. It's hope and light in the midst of darkness. It's impossible to walk in faith if you've never trusted Jesus before. Let me repeat that. It's impossible to walk in faith if you've never trusted in Jesus. So walking in faith requires daily obedience, trust, and prayer. When we live our faith, others will be able to see that we believe in Jesus. You know, let's, let's go ahead and pray. Dear God, I thank you. I thank you for those who are watching, Lord. I thank you that you, you love us so much, Lord God, and you know things better than we do. Things that don't make sense to us are part of, can be part of your perfect plan for us, Lord God. And I, I trust you, and I pray that we all just get that faith to believe everything you said, because nothing you've said is not true. Everything you say is true, Lord God. You you don't go back on, on, on promises. You don't go back on anything. What you say happens, Lord God. And I pray that we just take that step for those of us a little timid about that, that we just test it, Lord God, that we we, we just step out and see what happens and see how you, you come through, Lord God. I pray for those who are watching. I pray that, that you meet whatever need that they may have. I pray that you, you bless their family, Lord God. I pray that you keep us safe, Lord God. And I pray that, that we trust your plan. And, and I, Lord, I ask that you help us walk in faith and lead others to Jesus, Lord. In, G in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Tomorrow's Friday, we have our food ministry happening. That's Kingdom Pantry. Um, that takes place for, uh, from 10 a.m. to noon. Uh, if you'd like to volunteer, your, your help would be greatly appreciated anytime. 8.30 8 to noon would be awesome. And actually, you know, we've had more people. Uh, there's, a, there's a greater need now, and we have a lot of people. Um, we're averaging like 190 
uh, people that come to receive food. So we stay later. Um, so anything you could do to help would be greatly appreciated. God bless.